Fort Hood is getting a new name within the year. Turns out it isn't the only place in Bell County. Yeah, 25 News reporter Adam Schindler is at the Colleen Airport where they are faced with changing their name as well. And Adam, what are officials telling you? Lauren, not only are they changing the name from Colleen Fort Hood Regional Airport to something else, they're taking this opportunity to completely rebrand altogether. For close to two decades, the Colleen Airport has been an economic boost for the area. But like many airports of its size, it has been struggling since the COVID pandemic hit in 2020. A lot of air service was cut in a lot of different places. And it really affected a lot of smaller communities. Uh, and uh, and so it, it, it has had some adverse impact uh, uh, on those communities. Currently, they're only offering five to six flights to Dallas-Fort Worth a day. It is a small figure, but experts say it beats shutting down. What that means is you don't have access to the major hubs. That eliminates a lot of companies that might come in, eliminates a lot of travel opportunities, uh, or makes them certainly more difficult for local uh, folks. But uh, there's been a lot of studies that show it affects the income of an area, it affects the job growth in an area, and many other things. So the Colleen Fort Hood Regional Airport isn't going anywhere. But just like the nearby Army installation, their name is going to change. When we were forming last year's budget, we knew that we were going to have to probably look at changing the name when Fort Hood changed theirs. So we budgeted a rebranding program for our FY23 budget. Rebranding is more than just a simple name change. There will be a complete rebranding of the airport, the name, the message, um, the story that we want to tell about our airport and how we how we benefit the community and part of that's going to be choosing a new name. A chance to remind the community why they're here with a whole new look. Anytime you have a chance to kind of freshen up a brand and uh, and potentially make it have broader appeal, I think that can be a positive thing. Now the airport says they'll be getting input from both Fort Hood and the community before picking a new name that'll have to be approved by both the city council and the FA uh, and the FAA. I almost said FFA guys, FAA, and that could take up to 18 months. In Colleen, Adam Schindler, 25 News. All right, Adam, sounds good. The Department of Defense predicts it'll cost about $1.5 million to rename Fort Hood to Fort Cavazos. The Pentagon has given post until January 1st next year to rename everything. All told, the DOD will rename more than 1,100 installations and facilities. And the Colleen City Council is looking at attracting low-cost airlines like Spirit and Frontier to Colleen, according to the Colleen Daily Herald. American Airlines is the only airline serving Colleen with several flights to Dallas-Fort Worth. Delta Airlines left Colleen in 2019, and United ended service last year.